I'm outside artist Emil Hussein's apartment in Dubai. I'm meeting him today just to get a hang of what his life is all about here. Away from all the controversies and mess, how is he managing to live every moment to the fullest? The humble artist opens the door himself to take me through his cozy house done in Middle Eastern style with cushions and books lying all across the carpet. And then we enter what he calls his red light museum with a collection of 81 paintings about 60 years old, recently given back to him by his Czech friend Maria. She loved the paintings. Okay. So I just gifted her the entire show. <laughs> You know, some of the oils, watercolors, crayon. And in those days, I used to sell these paintings for 100 rupees, 150 rupees. We have a general idea that you distribute your time between Dubai and London and traveling. Is, is there a specific schedule now or is it still... I mean, every unplanned? day, it's just, you, you get up and you just go and without any planning. Well, in that case, I was really lucky to have this special meeting. Wow! I also got a sneak peek of his upcoming show on the history of Indian cinema. There are 20 panels in the making, each of them 30 feet long. The artist also has a penchant for fast cars and a roaring four-seater Ferrari is the latest addition to his fleet. Do you think your life is like a Ferrari car? <laughs> yeah, because it, the youth, right. that, yeah, that energy. That's there and that's continuous. He might be 93 but then he's no monk and he's not selling his Ferrari. In Dubai, Seher Zaman.